Brooke, congratulations on the documentary. Thank you so much. So tell me, so let's start off with some sort of foundational questions. Like what, how would you define uh, rebel country? I think rebel country are the artists and country music that are just doing things differently. Um, they're not afraid to put their own mark on country music and they're kind of trailblazing for other people like them. Yeah. I mean, obviously country's traditionally been a pretty conservative, probably the most conservative of the music genres, popular music genres. Um, what does it feel like to be on the other side of that sort of pushing against the system, trying to to get some change going? Yeah. I mean, for me, country music is about the truth. It's about, you know, the American society and, uh, and the truth. And I feel like for the longest time, country music has only been telling the story of a very small majority of the country of, you know, what's going on here in America. And so I think, uh, you know, it, it's been kind of pushing fans away for a long time that would pop, possibly love country music. And I feel like um, within the last few years, um, it's really been awesome to see so many fans feel more included in country music. And for me, that's what it's all about. It's all about creating the space um, for everyone here in country music, um, a, a safe space and a place where people feel like they can hear themselves and see themselves in country music. And for me, that's, you know, being a part of the LGBTQ community. And for such a long time, you know, there just wasn't anyone singing to us. Um, and, and now we're here, you know, and so it's really, really important to me that, um, you know, growing up, I always sang country music, and I always had people make fun of me for it. You know, they're like, Oh, it's so twangy. And especially people my age would be like, Oh, it just, you know, I, it, I, it doesn't sound like me and all these things. And now those same people love country music because there's music for them. And I think that's so important. Yeah. Yeah. Now, when you came out as queer, uh, I think it was 2021, what was the decision process like for you? Were people telling your manager management, people telling you not to do that, um, that the, the audience wouldn't accept it? Yeah, well, when I met my wife in 2015, um, people started to figure out that we were together in like spring of 2016. And when people started to find out, I had, I mean, we had people come up to us and be like, you know, if you guys come out, your career is over. And these are people leading my career, you know, and so I felt like we had no choice other than to be in the closet. And so we stayed in the closet for 26 from 2016 to 2021. And those were the worst five years of my life. It's so hard to live a double life. And that's exactly what I was doing. You know, I was one person to my close family and friends and a completely different person to my fans and radio. And, you know, it's just anytime I was on a stage and that really takes um, a toll on your health, on your mental health, on and eventually your physical health. And um, I ended up getting ulcers in my small intestine from mm -hmm. all that stress and had to get off the, the road and I wasn't even able to tour anymore. And, you know, you, you get to a point where you're just like, who am I doing this for? You know, um, I'm literally slowly killing myself by living this double life. And for me, I just got to a point where I couldn't do it anymore. Um, it was truly a matter of life or death for me to come out. And now that I am out, um, you know, of course you still, I still had people that were like, you know, we don't know what the consequences of you coming out are going to be. We don't know. And I just got to a point where I was like, I don't care what the consequences are for me. It's more important to live authentically. And even if I can just be a small voice, for the queer community, that's what I want to be in country music. And luckily, I have been able to be so much more than that. Um, and I have been able, you know, I was accepted and, and welcomed with open arms. And, um, and I think it just shows the way that country music is going, you know, we're not stuck in the old ways of country music, we're moving forward. And for me, that's, you know, the biggest part of all of this is creating a space of, of visibility and, and representation for people who have so long been left out of country music.
Yeah. And, and I read that even uh, Trisha Yearwood performed the ceremony for, at your wedding. What was that like having one of the big country greats uh, uh, sort of validate your relationship like that? Yeah. I mean, it's just so affirming, you know, um, we actually at one before, um, she ordained our, our marriage, um, or officiated our, our marriage. We sang she's in love with the boy turned she's in love with the girl at the Grand Ole Opry. And that was such a huge moment because not only was it Trisha Yearwood affirming our relationship, it was also the Grand Ole Opry, um, affirming our relationship, which is, you know, obviously such a huge piece of country music and country music history and having all of these, these, you know, important iconic parts of country music going, this is a part of country music that we feel is important. It's important to tell this story. It's important to not just say love is love, but to, to mean it. And, um, yeah, I mean, it was such an incredible moment for, for Trisha to show her allyship and for the Grand Ole Opry to show their allyship. And then for Trisha, you know, to be like, so what am I doing in this wedding? Like, you know, am I going to be a flower girl, maid of honor? Or am I going to officiate? And we we're like, would you officiate? And she was like, hell yeah. So, um, yeah. And, and Garth sang us down the aisle. And um, I just think that it, it's such a, a cool time to be queer and to you know queer music is popping off in every genre right now um between Billie Eilish and Chapel Run and um and Troy Sivan and I mean there's just so many uh, amazing queer artists right now and why not also in country music Brooke thank you so much for taking time to talk to us really enjoyed our conversation yeah thank you I really appreciate it Thanks for watching the You Interview channel. With over 3,000 original celebrity videos, we have one of the largest collections of celebrity interviews anywhere. So remember to like and comment on our videos and subscribe to the channel. If you want to get more involved, you can become a member of the channel. Membership has its perks. You can see exclusive celebrity videos and get the opportunity to ask our celebrity guests questions. We can't wait to hear from you.